Hello folks. In today's video, let's explore Dublin City, by walk. Our start point today, is from the Doodler River, all the way to the Spire, which would be our destination point. The weather is nice and sunny today. This is the Doodler River. Right on the opposite side is the St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Church, Ringsend. The Dodder River in Dublin, flows through the village of Ringsend on the right, with the modern buildings of the Grand Canal docks. Right ahead is the Hanover Quay, but before that let's move to our next point which is the, the Grand Canal Dock signboard. This spot is quite popular amongst the tourists to spend some good time and click pictures. Now let's walk towards Hanover Quay. Hanover Key is home to many software companies, residential apartments, and restaurants. If we walk straight, it would take us to the beautiful, Grand Canal Square, which again, is one of the major tourist attractions in Dublin. I would be uploading a separate video of the, Grand Canal Square. For now, let me show you a quick top view of the, Grand Canal Square. Now let's move on, to our next point which is the, Samuel Beckett Bridge. Let's take a right from, Hanover Quay, along, Benson, Street. That's the beautiful, River Liffey. This beautiful red structure ahead is called the Diving Bell. The Diving Bell used in the building of the port's key walls from the Victorian era right up until almost the 1960s, is a remarkable feat of Irish engineering. It was delivered to Dublin Port in 1866, entered service in 1871, and was used in the building of the port's key walls until 1958. The Diving Bell's lower section was hollow and bottomless, providing just enough room for six men to work at a time.
Next ahead, is one of the most famous bridges in Dublin. The Samuel Beckett Bridge, is a cable-stayed bridge in Dublin that joins Sir John Rogerson's Quay on the south side of the River Liffey, to Guild Street and North Wall Quay in the Docklands area. This cable-stayed balanced bridge, with two unequal spans provides vehicular traffic and pedestrians access crossing the Liffey River. It is also designed to a 90-degree horizontal rotation, to free the river channel for water transport crossing the river. The bridge is 407 feet long and 89 feet wide with a single inclined curved pylon in the center, tipped at 151 feet above sea level. You can book boating and kayaking activities at this point. Next ahead is the Sean O'Casey Bridge. On the right side is the Epic, the Irish Emigration Museum. It's located in Dublin's Docklands, covers the history of the Irish diaspora and emigration to other countries. The Sean O'Casey Bridge. It's a pedestrian swing bridge spanning the River Liffey Dublin joining City Quay in the Grand Canal Docks area to North Wall Quay in the IFSC. The bridge was built in 2005 as part of a large-scale urban renewal scheme under the Dublin Docklands Development Authority to link the North and South Quays and rejuvenate both. The swing bridge spans approximately 100 meters and has two balanced cantilever arms that swing open to permit boats to pass upriver. Let me show you a 360 view from the bridge. The Scherzer Rolling Lift Bridge in Dublin was built in 1912 by William Scherzer and is a form of Baskell Bridge which uses a counterweight to balance the movement of the bridge as it opens. It allowed water-based traffic to access the Royal Canal and Spencer Docks and was also designed to keep seawater out of the docks. The Great Famine Dublin the famine statues, in Custom House Key in the Dublin Docklands, were presented to the city of Dublin in 1997. These statues commemorate the Great Famine of the mid-19th century. During the famine approximately one million people died and a million more emigrated from Ireland, causing the island's population to fall by between 20% and 25%. No event in history has had a more profound effect on Ireland and the worldwide Irish community than that of the Great Irish Famine, 1845 to 1849. The cause of famine is blamed on a potato disease commonly known as potato blight. Although blight ravaged potato crops throughout Europe during the 1840s, the impact and human cost in Ireland, where one-third of the population was entirely dependent on the potato for food, was exacerbated by a host of political, social, and economic factors which remain the subject of historical debate. The statues were designed and crafted by Dublin sculptor Rowan Gillespie. Moving ahead, the next bridge is the Talbot Memorial Bridge. It's a road bridge spanning the River Liffey in Dublin, completed in 1978. It is 22 meters wide. The bridge links Memorial Road and Custom House on the north bank of the river to Moss Street and City Quay 
on the South Bank. Memorial Road was named in commemoration of those members of the Dublin Brigade who died during the Irish War of Independence, notably those who died in a raid on the nearby Custom House. The Talbot reference in the bridge's name is in remembrance of Matt Talbot. Let me show you a 360 view from the bridge. Next ahead is the Custom House. The Palladian-style Custom House was designed by the English architect James Gondon. The Custom House was built from Portland stone and has four differing facades linked by pavilions at each corner. The formal south entrance with its pediment supported by four columns below a narrow dome is in the projecting central block that faces the River Liffey. Over the pillars of the portico are statues of Neptune, Plenty, Industry, and Mercury and within the pediment are the figures of England and Ireland with Neptune driving away famine and despair. This is linked to the projecting corner pavilions, which echo the design of the central block, by two-story arcaded wings that originally had alternating windows and blind niches on the upper floor. The Butt Bridge is a road bridge in Dublin which spans the River Liffey and joins George's Key to Beresford Place and the North Keys at Liberty Hall. The swing section, made of wrought iron and weighing 200 tons, ran on a series of cast spoke wheels and was powered by a steam engine, which was housed on a timber pier on the downstream side of the bridge. Let me show you a 360 view from the bridge. The Rosie Hackett Bridge is a road and tram bridge in Dublin, Ireland, which opened on May 20, 2014. Spanning the River Liffey and joining Marlborough Street to Hawkins Street, it is used solely by public transport, taxis, cyclists, and pedestrians. It is 26 meters wide and 48 meters long, and is a single span, smooth concrete structure, with the underside of the bridge designed to be as high above the water as possible so that river traffic is not impeded. It was built to carry the extended Lewis Green Line, and was budgeted at 15 million euros. Let me show you a 360 view from the bridge. O'Connell Bridge is a road bridge spanning the River Liffey in Dublin, which joins O'Connell Street to Deolier Street, Westmoreland Street, and the South Keys. It's a flat bridge, supported by three arches, or spans, that crosses the River Liffey in central Dublin. It is flanked by O'Connell Street on its north side, from which side the bridge is constantly watched over by the huge, iconic statue of Daniel O'Connell, and Westmoreland Street and Deolier Street is on its southern side. It was built between 1791 and 1994 and named after the then Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, Frederick Howard. Daniel O'Connell Monument Known as the Liberator, Daniel O'Connell was born in Carahan, Cahirsavine in 1775. After securing the passage of the Catholic Emancipation Act in 1829, he was elected Lord Mayor of Dublin. There are numerous memorials to him around Dublin city. Known as the Liberator for successfully campaigning for the right of Irish Catholics to become members of Parliament, Daniel O'Connell is celebrated by the O'Connell Monument on the street which bears his name. O'Connell himself stands surrounded by a frieze of figures depicting elements of Irish society. Immediately underneath O'Connell is the Maid of Erin, symbolizing Ireland, who is pointing at the Liberator and holding in her other hand the act of emancipation, while her former shackles lie broken at her feet.
Now let's move to our last point which is the Spire of Dublin. The Spire of Dublin alternatively titled the Monument of Light is a large, stainless steel, pin-like monument 120 meters, 390 feet, in height, 3m in diameter at the base, located on O'Connell Street in Dublin. During daylight, the streetscape and its people are softly reflected in the stainless steel surface of the spire. Thanks folks for watching. If you enjoyed this video please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.